an Innsprung 6400 with distorted sound. Um, at high volume levels you, you hear a vibration from the right hand side speaker. Um, I got a new set of speakers um, and I'm going to just replace them. Um, first thing I have to do is uh, disconnect the battery. Then I'm going to remove these screws. Lift up, and there's a cable beneath. Now, now I'm going to remove the keyboard. the tab on the uh, cable and we've got a tab here on the mouse and uh, okay now we have to take these uh, the cable for the LCD screen that's got to come out that's it. And we have our uh, wireless devices over here. Your wireless device. And your cable here. Now we'll take off our LCD screen. The screws do be loose on them, they do come loose over a period of time. Okay, there's uh, two screws hidden at the back. Um, Cover and it's another cover of this side. See, we missed the screw anywhere. There's one in here. There's one up here. 
another one in here. Okay, let's see what happens in there. It seems we want down here, some are holding. So, let's see this. Could we hold this? Ah, yeah, that's for the CD drive. And as you can see here, there are two speakers. There's one here, and another one here. And and that's the way to go. A cable here. Plug it out, it's clipped in here, and it goes through this. And we have uh, little tabs here on the back. What I'm going to do now with the uh, unit is I'm going to give it a bit of a blowout um, with my air compressor just to get rid of all the dust out of the uh, cooling system. I'll get back to you when I get that done. Okay, I have the unit blown out uh, of uh, dust. Uh, I'll start putting the uh, spe new speakers in. these retaining tabs back and put two screws in to hold them each speaker in place Next thing we have to do now is put back on the uh, palm rest. Just making sure my uh, connection for the uh, mouse pad comes through. Yeah. Let's do this uh, screw first, the screw down here.
oben. I'll leave these two vacant because they're for the LCD hinge. Oh yeah, that's the on now. Then we got the hidden screws that we had back at the hinge. Another one this side. Hold this in place, and uh, start putting in these cables now. We have our LCD cable over here, and um, we've got to get a good connection here on this. Press this down nicely. this little channel What's that? and then we have the screw the earth screw for the LVDS cable or LCD cable Now we have uh, this wireless uh, liquid in here and we got this uh, connector then for the uh, LCD panel open. It goes right in here. You don't connect this to your, your LCD when you open the, the, the uh, screen up, it won't light up. see they got a black mark on this side and a white marking on this 
so the black goes to the black marking. Rearrange these a bit and they're not walking right. Um, okay, let's see what's wrong. Just had them do it incorrectly. Yeah. yeah, maybe you can see that now the way they root it. The switch for the LCD cover comes up here through this post underneath this little retainer tab into this channel and that one. Then our wireless connectors come here and run down here and it goes underneath this. Now we have to put our mouse connection in. Is that in? And now our keyboard. Zoom out for this. We have our connector here and the tab is in the upward position. Slide the cable in. Close the tab. Make sure it's squarely in. As you can see in this, there is a little line going across. There. If, you, if that's not in parallel with the connector, you know you have it in wrong. These little protrusions here slide in the little holes in the palm rest and it's shut down each side. And we got two screws holding in place. We also have got to put in a screw here and a screw here for the hinges. You'll know when the hinge uh, gets loose, you'll see this uh, moving back and forth, a lot of play in it. As you can see, that's, it's, there's play in it, but it's not. There'll be a lot more in it if the uh, screws for the hinge are loose. Now we have our hinge cover. Bring back the screen. You've got two little protrusions here. They slide in this side. in properly. Okay. On these little covers for the uh, screws. Just hides the screws. Sometimes these are missing off it. Need one this side.
And last, uh, we put in our battery. I'm going to power it up now. Make sure we have no error messages or any problems. Okay, the uh, unit is uh, up and running, uh, sound is okay, the distortion has gone out of the sound, and uh, all is okay. Um, not a hard job. Um, I got the speakers on eBay, um, second hand, and uh, the part number for the speakers is CN-OTF182. Um, I got them for about five pound uh, total as yeah, postage and the speakers um, I know they're only second hand but they've done the job uh, hope that's of some help to someone uh, thanks for watching